Hey y'all, I am Leslie and I'm really excited to just kind of let you know about this journey that I'm starting. I am your everyday person. I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I love Jesus, and I am, I'm, I'm just excited. I'm so excited to share with you what a friend shared with me that is changing my life. I tried on this amazing mascara and was overwhelmed with the difference that it made for um, not only what my face looked like, but the confidence that I had going out. And um, so I wanted to buy it and my friend said, oh my goodness, you need to just sell it. Why, why would you not want to share this feeling that you have with other women? And I thought to myself, you're exactly right. Um, so I'm starting this. This is my first YouTube video and I'd love for you to subscribe below. Um, so if you'd like to follow me, I would love to have you as um, some... <laughs> That's my sweet boy behind me. Um, anyways, so um, I am going to share with you how I went from no makeup to fabulous, unique makeup. Everything that I'm wearing is unique products, and I feel like I have nothing on my face right now. It feels light and airy, and I'm excited to show you how I got to this. So enjoy. I'm going to begin by using the Glorious Primer, and I'm just going to put two bumps all over my face. It's going to just spill in all these little fabulous wrinklies that I have, which are amazing, that I'm going to cover up and not let anyone know I have. I'm pretty tricky that way. And it's going to make my makeup last all day long. So, one, two... On my eyelids, everywhere, and it feels so silky and light. It's amazing. Like you're giving yourself a little facial. You'll love it. Okay, now I'm ready for my unique pressed powder, and this is actually in Organza. It's one of our lighter colors. Because I have that fabulous porcelain baby doll skin. Like that. Okay, actually I'm going to start with our smaller blending bud, and these are phenomenal. If you don't have these, you definitely need the unique blending buds. There are a lot. Um, you can get them at lots of places, but uniques have more dense texture to them, and they just blend a lot better. I've tried them all. So I'm going to start um, with just right under my eyes. And this is going to be applied all over. I know you're thinking, wow, your face already looks better. Isn't that fun? So, do you hear the sucking noise in the background? Isn't that sweet? You think I make all kinds of noises when I put on makeup. I know you make faces, I make noises. No, not me. Just my precious, precious little baby boy. He's being so good that he only makes sucking noises right now. No talking, you might hear that soon though. So don't be surprised. Now I'm going to put on our um, concealer. It's a like a pressed powder, and this just kind of seals in the look that I have going, and I'm going to use one of our brushes as well. Can you make awesome faces like me? Just wonder. Just gives it a nice polished look. And so we have it. I will continue with my pressed blusher. And this is in Stunning. It's actually a very bright pinky color, but that's what I prefer. And I just need a very tiny bit 
which shows you this will last a very long time. And I just get it right on the apples of my cheek. And I like to, once I've done that, just kind of go back over with my finishing brush. I didn't add any. It's just what was already kind of left on there and just kind of blend that in. Okay. Um, after I've done that, so, so far, um, I've got kind of my base done on my face. And now I'm going to go more into my eyes. I'm going to start with using, I know everyone does their makeup differently. I always put my eyeliner on first and then go back over with my um, shadows, with my pigments and everything because I like how that looks on me. It kind of makes the eyeliner not so prominent, which is how I like to do my makeup. You can do it either way. So I'm going to start with my eyeliner and I'm actually using the Perfect, which is um, almost like a black. So you go ahead and get started with that. I have to get really close, so bear with me. I'll try to turn this so you can see me actually putting it on. And you get bonus points when you make really awesome faces. Like that. This is really hard to do when my son is being so cute behind me and I just want to keep giggling, so sorry. If you see me pause, I'm, I'm doing a little listening. So I don't know about you guys, but personally, I have put it on thicker on this side and not so thick on this side, so now I need to go fix what I just did. As you can tell, I'm not a pro, but Unique makes it easy. The thing that I love the most about these liners are that they are waterproof. Proof. You can wear these in the swimming pool and they will not come off. It is amazing. So, for your next beach trip, wherever you're going, work out, sweat like a maniac, it's amazing. You will get off the treadmill and be like, yeah, still looks good. So, just a perk. I'm also going to use um, Pristine. It is white, and I put the Pristine on my waterline. Um, it just makes your eyes look more... Bigger. It makes them look bigger. It Who doesn't want bigger up. eyes? It wakes them up. It makes you just watch. You'll see. Can you see the difference in my two eyes? Hmm? I wouldn't lie to you. Actually, white lies are okay. And if you started a donut company and you wanted me to try your donuts, I'd tell you they're amazing. I do not like donuts. But I would tell you they're great. Okay, now I'm going to go on to the lids of my eyes. And I'm going to be using pigments. They're amazing. You can use them for all sorts of things. We'll go into all that later. Right now, I'm just going to show you the magic that they do on your lids. So, this is Confident. And this is Glamorous. These two over here are vulnerable and angelic. I'll let you know if I get into those. These are just maybes. For sure. Like I said, glamorous, confident. Two things that you are. All right. Okay, I'm going to start with just the lid of my eye. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and go with the angelic. I know I got crazy on you and said I may not use them, but I'm going to. Okay. This is kind of a... Um, just a very light color, as you can see, and what I use the deluxe for the bottom, the deluxe brush. 
and I'm just going to apply it right to, wow, I used way too much of that. Have you ever done that? <laughs> wow, it's all that. Okay. <laughs> do you look like a clown when you put your makeup on? I do. Disclaimer, unique makeup is so much fun, you will find yourself giggling and laughing through your whole process of putting it on in the mornings, which makes for great entertainment for yourself in the mirror, your best friend. <laughs> okay, love it. Okay, and this is exactly why I put my liner on first, is because I like to put pigment on over it and it gives it um, where it's not as dark and that's how I like to wear mine. Okay, so now that I have that base color angelic on my lid. Okay, now I'm going into my creases and I'm going to use glamorous and on this I'm just going to go right on the outsides and then in my creases. I have used just barely any of this and I'm actually going to tap my brush off into the lid. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, I have used very little, and it has gone a very long ways. So just in my crease, and a little bit into my lid. Okay, now I'm going to do the other side. And I'm not going back into the main jar, I'm just using... There we go. Now that I've done that, I'm going to put the lid back on because I am clumsy, and I don't want to spill. Now I have the confident, something that you and I both are. I convince myself of that daily. Now I'm going to use my liner shader brush and with that color, and I'm just going to use a very little bit of this, tap it off, and I'm just going to go right kind of under that purple, starting on the very insides and going out, just right under my crease. And I like to go back when I'm all the way done and just put a lighter color on the top to kind of blend in where the purple goes up by my brow. Okay, so now that I have put all my color on, I feel like I'm pretty much done. So I'm going to take my liner shader brush again, just kind of blow off those dark colors. Anything that was remaining. And I'm going back to my concealer with, and, um, and the fabulous same color that I used all over my face. And I'm just going to kind of brush my, put my brush in the lid and go over the top right here and blend it in just so it blends nat more naturally um, with the color that's all over my face already. Uh. I like my eyes to not be as dramatic as some people. If you like it more dramatic, then you would skip this part. This is just personal preference for me. And there are my eyes. No eye is complete without putting on ridiculously amazing 3D mascara, which comes in this amazing case. And you open it up and you actually get two mascaras. You get the transplanting gel. And then you also get the natural fibers with green tea fibers, um, which if any of you have ever thought that you were in love with falsies, you have no idea until you have tried this. This is light. It actually helps your eyelashes and it doesn't uh, have sticky glue or... Um, Anything like that is hyperallergenic, so those of you that wear contacts, those of you who have sensitive eyes like I do, this is going to feel like um, candy to your eyes. I prefer to put one coat of mascara on of my regular mascara before I put on my magical 
eyelashes. But you don't have to. But you don't have to. It is completely your preference. So here I go with my regulars. And I just do a very light coat of this. If you can see, I have a little bit, I just put a little bit of mascara right here, but my eyelash lashes, their eyelashes, are translucent. You cannot see them at all. So I used to think that regular mascara was phenomenal. That was before I found Unique's 3D Fiber Lash Mascara. And you are about to see that I am a magician. Magician with eyelashes, that is. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Like I said, I'm clumsy. Be careful. Put lids on stuff. Okay. So there is just a very light coat of regular mascara. Now, I like to take both of my wands and just unscrew them both so that I have them both in my hand and I can easily just scrub them both. Um, I'm going to start with my right eye and I'm going to just put the transplanting gel in. I use a lot of the gel because I want my fibers to stick to that gel. So, here we go. Remember I said I like to get close to the mirror? And I have 20-20 vision so it's kind of strange that I need to be this close. Just applying, 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 applying. I was looking at my son just now. You may think he's over there, but there's a mirror and I can see him behind me. Okay, so here is the gel. And now I'm going to go back with the fibers. And I do not go all the way to my lash line, just the tips. And you don't want to use too many of the fibers at a time because then they'll all just get stuck to your transplanting gel and get yucky and it's pointless. So now I'm going to give that just a minute to let my fibers, and I just kind of bat them with my hand. Some people use a blow dryer. It's up to you with a cool shot. Now I'm going to seal in those fibers and I like to use a lot of the gel to make sure that they stay on that I don't have cute little fibers on my cheeks and you may have heard people say oh you know I'm not a fan because I get little fibers that fall off throughout the day that just means you haven't used enough gel of uh, the transplanting gel to hold them up so this is one coat and I let the um, the first coat dry before I have I'm applying the second. And this is going to be eye poppingly outrageous. I might start singing and dancing. You never know. So just be ready. This is adding so much volume and length to my lashes. And if you can think back to what they looked like when I first started this, they were translucent, you guys. You could not see them. And now, they're almost touching my brows. This is crazy. I know you don't need a close-up because you can see it from here, but I'm going to zoom in just so that you can really see crazy madness of my lashes. Look at that. I feel like I would like a little bit of a beach glow. And so I'm going to go back on with my beach front bronzer. And this is Hermosa. And I'm just going to take the same brush that I had done with my powder. And I'm going to my bronzer on and bronzer you put in the E on both sides so the one E here and another here and I am looking like I 
I just got back from those Caribbean beaches. I'm just gonna add a little here, just where the sun would hit me. I look like I just got off of some Cabana Boys favorite. No, that sounded terrible. I did not get off of Cabana Boy. A Cabana Boy just brought me a nice cocktail. And we're editing that part, so don't even worry. No. Lips. <sighs> Lips. Okay. So, you can go with our stains, which are phenomenal. They last all day long. Morning to night. Um, but I am wanting to use one of my favorite glosses today. I, we have many, 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 many different colors. Here's just a few that I was kind of looking at today thinking, hmm, what color should I use today? What am I feeling like? And I am feeling lavish today. And I'm actually going to put the pristine white eyeliner on my lips first, just right in the middle. And I feel like it, um, it helps this to last longer. And it makes my lips look bigger. Who doesn't want bigger lips? Do you like that? Okay, so here we go. Lavish. And if you sing like that, it helps. Here we go. my look is complete. Now, if I were to actually go out, I would be putting, um, like for an out of town or anything, I would not do the one eye 3D, one eye regular mascara, but for today, this is what I'm going for. Hope you've enjoyed.